Hello everyone, welcome to Crack It. In today's video, we will delve into frequently asked interview questions related to the Fiend Client concept. Fiend Client is a very important co concept if you say you have worked in microservices or Spring Boot. So let's discuss about the frequently asked interview questions in this video. So please feel free to show your support by liking, sharing, commenting and subscribing if you enjoy the content. To cover the Fiend Client concepts thoroughly, I suggest watching the video that cover the Fiend Client concepts along with a detailed coding explanation. Yes, we have covered a video for Fiend Client separately and we have explained there how we can use Fiend Client in our microservices application along with the coding explanation. So I've, I've provided the link here. You can use it for your reference. So I, I, I recommend you to use uh, to go through that video before you start this interview questions on the Fiend client. Okay, let's commence our discussion with the first interview question. You are asked to develop a microservice application where there is one microservice that is microservice 1 which is generating a response. Let's assume that that is generating some random number and another microservice 2 we need to develop which needs to consume that random number that is generated by the microservice 1. This is one of the uh, interview questions which a subscriber want us to discuss and that's why we are discussing it here. So the answer is like instead of asking you how in your applications or how is how in your project how are you implementing the communication between the microservices that is a straightforward question. Instead they are asking you to uh, uh, write code for that microservice uh, communication. So what will you do? So what we will do is we need to create one microservice which should, which should generate a random number, another microservice that needs to consume that random number. How, how will that communication happen? That communication will happen through the Fin client. I would like to explain this question uh, by comparing the code that we used for the Fin client concept which is nothing but initially if you remember we have created this employee service. This employee service is our microservice one which is generating a random number in our question. So instead here instead of returning an employee we need to return a random number. We need to generate a random number and we need to return that number from here. It's straightforward. There is nothing fancy here in this uh, microservice one. So in the microservice two what do we need to do? We need to make sure that in the pom.xml we, we should add this dependency. This dependency is nothing but sp spring cloud starter open theme dependency. Why do we need to add that? This dependency will help us to create fiend clients in our application. So this is the first step. What is the second step? So we need to go to our uh, uh, main class where it is present and we need to add this annotation. What is this annotation? At enable fiend clients annotation. This annotation will scan the fiend clients that is available in the uh, package. So we need to add this as well at enable fiend clients. Then what do we need to do? We need to create a fiend client. So we need to create a fiend client and this fiend client will be random number uh, maybe consumer fiend client let's assume and here we need to provide the uh, get random number and we need to provide the URL and URL for that application and the mapping in which it is present. Obviously it will be get mapping and here it will be random number and get random numbers. It's straightforward. We need to provide the service name and the URL along with the mapping in where it is present here instead of employee it will be the random numbers type maybe uh, let's assume it is a string that's it if we use this fiend client in our controller we will be able to generate the random number so instead of asking you to uh, instead of asking you how how was your uh, communication happening between the microservices or what are you which exact whether you are using rest template or whether you are using fiend client what are you using in your application they are, the interviewers asked you to develop the microservices. So developing microservices is also like very simple. We can do this. We can do in this way. Start discussing the next question. What does at enable fiend clients annotation mean or why do we need it? So the, the same question may be asked a little uh, 
a little different as well you may get a question like you are using fin clients for your microservices uh, communication so which annotation will you use in your application to make that fin clients work in your application so you have to answer like at enable fin clients so i think you would have understood the answer now why do we need the uh, at fin clients so what will this at fin clients annotation do this at fin client annotation is used to enable the fin client in our spring boot application so this annotation will scan the class path for any interfaces that are annotated with at fin client and it will create a proxy for them so what will this annotation do this annotation will scan the class path for any of the interfaces that is annotated with at fin client this is the usage of this annotation let's discuss the next question so you ask a question like you have a requirement to call an external endpoint but your external endpoint is super slow and the response time increases as the number of records increases so what will you do in this situation this will be your question so i have a microservice m1 and my microservice m1 is super slow but my m2 need to consume that uh, uh the response from m1 but that is super slow what will you do uh this is your question so you may answer them like you can parallelize your call or you can do uh, asynchronous call to your api so that uh, your other uh, the your processes which are in the pipeline will not get delayed so that will be your answer so you will answer them saying that you will use asynchronous call to your uh, api so that even if it is slow your other calls won't get delayed so that may be your one of your answers okay if you answer like that your next question will be since you are using fin client in your application is asynchronous calls possible in fin client that will be your uh, next question so is it possible to uh, it is it possible to use async asynchronous calls through fin client the answer is yes yes we can make asynchronous call through the fin client so what do we need to do we need to call our external api in our case the microservice m1 through the fin client and we can parallelize our call through the async so that our executions will not be slower so so you can answer in this way so let's now see uh, then your next question will be how how will you make your fin client async so it's very simple you need to add at async on the method or the api which is very slow and we need to wrap the caller with the uh, completable feature okay i'll show you show that in the code now for better like for easier understand we need to do now we need to add at async annotation here because this is the method which we are going to call uh, this is the microservices external api call that we are doing so we need to add at async annotation here then what do we need to do the place where we are calling this fin client or calling the specific method to, we need to make usually this will be in a service for simple understanding we have this in our controller so what do we need to do here we need to change the response to the completable fu future because this is a async call and we need to return completable future in the place where we are calling this fin client even here it will be completable feature dot completed feature of this fin client dot get employees and it should return the same and we need to have at async annotation on top of that service class as well this is how we need to do if you want a separate video on how we can make our uh, fin clients asynchronous please let me know in the comment section i'll made, make a video for that the next follow up question will be like you're calling an external endpoint which is microservice m1 and that microservice is down or the call to that microservice is failing how will you handle that scenario in your code that will be your question so the next moment that should come to your mind is the fallback scenario so if anything is failing in the what we can do we need to write code how we can fall back for that specific scenarios so what do we need to do in our example where do we need to add it in here if you see in the at fin client annotation how we add value how we add url in the same way we can add fallback as well in the fallback we need to 
provide the class to which it needs to fall back when there is any problem in the external API. Yes, Fin clients is supporting fallback scenario and for any reason, if my external API is failing, I need to write an appropriate coding for that fallback scenario as well and Fin client is supporting that. In short, Fin clients fallback mechanisms allow us to provide the alternate responses when a service is not accessible which ensures the seamless, seamless functioning of the application. Yes, my um, application will uh, work seamlessly. Why? Because I have added a fallback here, which will help me to provide an alternate response. You may get a question like this. Since you said you are using Fiend Clients for microservices communication, you may be asked, why are you using Fiend Client? What is the advantage in the Fiend Client? And what is the reason for you to use the Fiend Client in your application? So. The answer is Fin clients is the easiest way to call the RESTful web services. Yes, this is the easiest way than the REST templates. And next is URLs are not hard coded. So uh, in the Fin clients, this is a very, very important uh, advantage, which is URLs are not hard coded. Even if we have dynamic URLs or dynamic properties in our, U U in our URLs, yes, Fin clients will help in creating those dynamic URLs in our application. Since we are using the same annotation pattern, same as the other microservice, we can pass tokens which are being created dynamically. As we know, we can use any parameters and headers or params or our path variables that are generated dynamically. Our URLs are not hard coded and in the if we use Fin clients in our application. So that's the one of the main reasons that you need to highlight if you say you're using Fin clients in your application. Next is you don't want to write unit test cases. Why, why, why don't you want to write unit test cases? It is because there's no code you have written in your application. You have just written an interface and just the method definitions. You didn't write any code. So there's no need for you to write the unit test cases, but you have to write the integration test cases. Also, since you are not writing any code, who's handling the actual code? Fiend clients is handling the actual code. We are writing just the interface. Then Fiend clients is integrating, integrates well with the other Spring Cloud components such as Ribbon or Eureka. Yes, it's like very, very uh, uh, easy. So since we are working in the microservices application, obviously we, we will be, suppose in my application, we are using Eureka for the service discovery. Since I'm using Eureka for the service discovery, if I use Fiend client, that's very easy for me. Even in my URL, I can just provide that Eureka client ID. That's what I said, URLs are not hard coded. It's not like I have to provide the uh, URL. So uh, the Fiend clients will gel easily with the Spring Cloud components with Eureka and the ribbon. Yes, load balancing, uh, uh, like the Fiend client along with the ribbon, the load balancing can happen seamlessly. So it's 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 a very big advantage of using the Fiend client since I am using Spring Cloud it's very easy for me to use this fin client over the rest templates what next fin clients by default will encode and decode the request and response objects there's no need for us to write the object purpose explicitly fin client will handle that also uh, fin client has built in support for uh, load balancing and circuit breaking yes just as i just said fin client will work well with a uh, ribbon so that our load balancing can be happening that easily and the same with the circuit breaking. So your next question is how do you handle different version of microservices in Fiend clients? This is to understand how in depth you, uh, you are using the Fiend clients in your application. So uh, in all our REST APIs, we'll be having versioning like V1, V2, V3. We, we will be having these versions. If suppose, how how how, are you ha how can you handle those different versions of calling those microservices using Fiend clients? It's like a straightforward question. It is because you will have that version number either in the headers or as a uh, uh, or, or in the uh, URL. So if you want to call a specific version, say V1, you need to specify that in your header so that that will call the version one of your API. If suppose you need to call the version two, you need to specify that version in the header. Instead of asking you, this is a very direct question. This is just to understand, like this is just to uh, 
make you think like it is a twisted question but it's not the case it's a straight forward question on asking how you can call different versions of endpoint through a fiend clients is it possible yes it is possible it, it is because versions or versions are part of the header or part of the url so that if i provide that specific value in my header or in the url it is very very easy for me to seamlessly interact with the different versions of the apis if you have any specific topics questions or areas you would like to explore further please feel free to leave a comment whether it's related to the fin clients we just discussed or the microservices architecture or java related stuffs spring boot spring cloud or any other tech related subjects i'm here to help and this is your input means a lot so please don't hesitate to share your thoughts in the comment section also please don't forget to like share and subscribe for future updates Thanks for watching Crack It and see you next time.